Hi everybody, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast. Before I get started with the reading, I just want to take a second and thank all of my subscribers. Thank you guys so very much. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your comments, and just all of your positive feedback. If you are interested in receiving additional guidance from the weekly and monthly tarot forecast that I offer here on my channel, I do actually draw and upload every single day a daily oracle guidance card to my Instagram and Facebook pages. So if you're interested in receiving additional guidance, please head over and like me on Facebook or follow me on Instagram. If you are interested in receiving um, a private reading from me, I do actually have linked below in the description bar my my website so head over to my website and read about how I offer my private readings uh, and make sure that for these weekly tarot forecasts you are watching your sun sign your moon sign and your rising sign to get the most insight uh, some weeks you will resonate more with your sun sign other weeks you will resonate more with your rising sign or ascendant sign and then sometimes you might even resonate with all three your sun moon and rising sign so again I just want to thank you guys so very much for all of your support you guys are truly amazing thank you for all of the positive feedback your likes your shares your comments I do wish you all a wonderful week stay tuned for the reading hi Sagittarius this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of October 17th through the 23rd this is for Sagittarius Sun Sagittarius Moon and Sagittarius rising signs So at the bottom of the deck, I do have the Four of Pentacles. All right, so the Four of Pentacles for me represents having things built up. This represents that security, that stability, that abundance. Uh, so definitely financially, I see you in a good place. For some of you, you might be quite conservative and not spending so much money this week, um, really hanging on to your finances. For some other Sages, you could be dealing with a situation where there's someone hanging on tightly to something, or you could actually be hanging on tightly to, to something Sag. Financially, I think it's going to be actually a very balanced week for you, Sag. I really don't think with the Four of Pentacles there and now the Two of Pentacles that you're going to be spending that much money. I see you actually being quite balanced financially. The overall energy is the Two of Pentacles. So for some Sages, um, you could be juggling multiple projects. There could be a lot going on this week, Sag, for some Sages. And then for some other Sages, there could be a decision. For some of you, this could be a decision that you're contemplating. You could be going back and forth, weighing your options with this sort of energy for some Sages. Or a decision could be very significant. And for some of you, this certainly could have something to do with finances, career, assets, um, with pentacles, anything in the physical material realm. So a decision could be very significant. And then for some other Sages, this could be you kind of weighing your options, maybe trying to make a decision. Um, but with the energy of strength and some other energies that you have here, I think that you're being patient. So for some of you, that's why I say trying to make a decision because I don't see you just rushing forward and making it. I think that it's more of an energy um, this week. There's more of an energy where you're kind of contemplating or going back and forth. I think you're in like planning mode, Sag. And with strength here, strength is all about control. Um, really going within and relying upon that inner strength when having to be patient and having to wait on something. So I do think that for many of you, this is you waiting really uh, to completely end a difficult time within your life. With the Ten of Swords here, for some of you, this is you really waiting to be able to maybe fully close the door on a difficult time within your life. With the Ten of Swords, the worst is now behind you and tens represent cycles that are completing but with the ten of swords it was a difficult um, cycle within your life and I think that you're waiting to be able to move on from this um, and there could be some delays because we have the page of swords here which the page of swords represents news communication um, but with strength and 
um, the Page of Swords. I really think that there's news that maybe for some of you that you're waiting on, it can be a decision. There's some sort of news or information that you're waiting on. But with the Page of Swords, it could be delayed. And that's why we have, you know, some of this energy present, Sag, because you are maybe waiting. You're waiting to take the bull by the horns. You're waiting to fully be able to uh, leave behind a difficult time within your life. But with that being said, I see you very, very, very focused on the future. So even if you are waiting on something, Sag, waiting on a decision, or waiting to be able to walk down a new path, I see you in planning mode this week. I really, really see you focused on the future. We have the Page of Swords looking directly over at the Two of Wands here. And I really feel like this is where your focus is at. You're really, really planning for the future, thinking about your future, coming up with lots of ideas for your future, things you want to do. And these are things that you're quite passionate about. These are things that are very exciting. So this is where your focus is at. Um, again, because it's another two, um, for some of you, I see you maybe weighing your options. And for some other Sages, this certainly could have something to do with a partnership, something to do with uh, either a business partnership or even a relationship. And, and this could be you um, waiting on a decision or trying to make a decision. Um, but either way, I see you very, very focused on the future and I see you planning, planning to walk down a new path with the Fool here. Maybe whatever this is for you, Sag, it does require you to take that leap of faith or to take a risk in some way. And that's why maybe for some of you, you're not rushing right into into this and then for some other sages um you could be taking your time with making a decision because this is maybe something that's a little risky or you know maybe you're just moving in a whole new direction uh down a new path that you've never been down before sag so you know this is you really taking your time um but i do see you moving forward and i do see you moving down a new path um, moving towards something new and for many of you this is something that's very very exciting uh, i do see a lot of healing energy around you with the four of swords here so if you have been dealing with some difficulties a difficult cycle or, or period within your life sag i do see you healing from that for some Sages with the Four of Swords here, you could be spending some time alone this week. Definitely um, resting, recovering, healing from maybe some difficulties that you've gone through. Um, this could be you really spending some time alone and weighing your options or you spending some time alone and really thinking about your future, Sag. I see many of you very, very focused also on severing ties from that that no longer serves you i have the king of swords looking at the devil so the devil can represent you know an unhealthy relationship anything that's no longer serving you so an addiction um a, a negative thought process any anyone or anything that's no longer serving you feeling bound feeling tied to something a job that's no longer serving you, a relationship, whatever this is, I see you very, very focused upon this. And the King of Swords is a more of a, a serious energy, very logical energy in the mind, planning, strategizing. But this is a person who will use this sword to sever ties from that that no longer is serving them. So I see some Sag is absolutely getting ready. I feel like, again, this is in planning mode here. I feel like you're getting ready to use this sword and literally release yourself, uh, free yourself from that that's no longer serving you, whether that be an addiction or whether that be an unhealthy relationship. I see you going through the worst of this. Uh, and I think that for many of you, you're ready to completely leave but this, this chapter, this difficult time behind. Uh, but for some of you, you're absolutely in planning mode. And you could be taking your time with making a decision. Maybe this is a marriage or a relationship. Or for some of you, even a job that's no longer serving you. And so you need some time to prepare for some sages. And I certainly see you spending time alone and, and definitely doing that. Now... For some of you, this, this King of Swords person can be an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra person that's very significant. There also could be a Leo or even a Capricorn that's quite significant this week, Sag. 
And then for some other Sages, this King of Swords person uh, can certainly represent an attorney. So for some Sages, you could be speaking with an attorney this week. Um, just getting more information again because I see you preparing and I see you planning. So for some Sages, uh, maybe you're speaking with an attorney and they're giving you some insight in regards to um, you know your options. Sag, um, but financially, I see it actually being a great week for you. I think that financially things are very balanced, and I really don't see you spending that much money. Um, all things in moderation this week, which I certainly, you know, see this energy around you. I, I definitely don't think that you're rushing into anything or, or really doing things in excess. I really see it being more of like a mellow week for many of you. And uh, you actually don't have any Cups cards here, Sag, so I, I definitely don't think like it's going to be a, an emotional week for you whatsoever. I, I just think that you're very, very focused on the future, Sag. Let me pull you an additional Guidance card. I think you're very focused on healing. You're focused on leaving something behind that's no longer serving you, and you're focused on the future, planning for the future. I, I actually see many of you quite excited when it comes to walking down a new path. I did just have two cards flip over. All right, so very interesting. The first one we have is Grace and Antoinette. To help heal this situation, see the other per person's point of view with compassion. And then we have Astara. You deserve the best. Reach for the stars with your dreams and desires and don't compromise. Very nice, Sag. Don't compromise. And I do not believe that you're going to. But this is very interesting, this Grace and Antoinette card. So for some Sages, you could have gotten into an argument or there could be some sort of healing that needs to take place between you and another person. No matter if this is a friend, a family member, a partner, a business partner, or romantic, perhaps needing to see the other person's point of view is, is very important, Sag. Okay, so I do hope that you found this reading helpful, and I hope you have a great week. Take care.